Hey, it's Allie Edwards, and I'm back today with another project using the Rainbow Scrapbook Kit as the jumping off point. The story I'm telling today is a story about a recent trip that Aaron and I took down to Mexico to see Dave Matthews and Tim Reynolds, Dave Matthews Band, obviously one of our favorites there. I started this one by creating a collage of six photos. I did that in Photoshop and then printed it out on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of photo paper so that when I uh, printed it, I was a, or when I cut it, I was able to have a border around the outside. What I'm doing next is cutting up a piece of graphics transparency, a graphics transparent sheet that will be able to sit directly on top of my photo there and create a flip up. On top of that plastic sheet, I want to add the pieces of the, the plastic pieces of the rainbow. And in the beginning here, I wasn't sure if maybe I wanted to do this on top of a one of the pattern papers. That was kind of where I was going originally. The other thing I wanted to really wanted to play around with was using some sticker tabs. And you may have these from us from a variety of different projects. The ones that I'm using right here are from the One Little Word mini kit. I think one of the ones last year, I think is what they're from. But we've had them for a variety of different projects. And I wanted to play around with the idea of using them to create a flip up, especially when I'm working outside of the page protector. I'm looking for some other ways to make flip ups rather than just using washi tape, right? That's, you see, if you've watched my other rainbow projects, I did another one that used washi tape, but I wanted to try using the um, tabs there, this, these fold over stick sticker tab. So that's going to work out pretty well and you'll see more about that in a minute. The idea here though was to be able to use the plastic pieces of the rainbow all together to have that real traditional rainbow look, but I wanted them on top of the plastic so that it could be lifted up to peek at the photos. As I kept working on this one or kept kind of thinking through what I wanted to do. I wanted to see what it would look like if it was on white cardstock. White cardstock is still one of my favorite ways to create foundations for my projects. Obviously this one here is probably going to be a single page. At this point in the process, process I wasn't sure, but you can see here that I made the decision that yes, I was going to do a single page. So I came back over to my computer and I typed up my journaling, just a little bit of information about the trip and how we enjoyed it and those sorts of things, and put it along the bottom of the piece of cardstock or set it up that way so that when it printed it was along the bottom leaving space above for my photo collage there. Now one of the things that happened is as I was thinking about that I was like wait a minute I didn't accommodate or I didn't plan for the uh, holes that need to be punched, right? That this is going to go inside of an album. So I went back over to my computer. I moved everything over a little bit so that I had at least a half an inch along the left edge there to be able to use my six hole punch to hunt, punch the holes. So I essentially just moved it over a little bit and reprinted um, out onto the white cardstock. Um, in the end, you know, I definitely think this is one that could have been on pattern paper. Obviously you would have needed to do something a little bit different for the journaling along the bottom. Um, but as a nice break with all of the bright patterns that I've been using from this kit, it was kind of fun to have a white background and then keep the focus more on the plastic rainbow pieces. So what I decided to do in terms of getting those attached onto the graphics plastic sheet, I decided to use my tiny attacher stapler. Uh, you could use rolling adhesive on there. Again, I don't have any here right now because I'm waiting for that to come in the mail. Um, so the using the tiny attacher seemed to work just fine. I had a couple instances where I needed to, after I stapled it, it didn't get stapled in the right place. And then there was kind of like a bubble underneath it. So then I needed to pick it back, pull it off of there. And so I did that a couple times. So I think this is all always nice for, you know, one of the reasons why it's nice to see these process videos is you can see where I make mistakes regularly and then have to figure out ways to fix the mistakes that I make. So in this one, um, I think I use like the, the paper piercer to be able to pull up one of the staples that I stapled on there that ended up, it didn't lay flat. So there was a little bit of troubleshooting related to that. So I'd say that, you know, heads up to you if you want to try the same sort of thing, just give yourself a little bit of uh, time as you figure out how to make those flat. The one thing that I did like though too, is that because it has a flat 
bottom on it or a flat base, I was able to line that up with, you know, the bottom of the rainbow pieces um, are lined up with the bottom of the graphics transparent sheet. Graphics transparent sheets are ones that I love to build pages on top of. Um, they are not ones that I run through my printer. They are not, I don't think that they say anything about being inkjet compatible, but they are a thicker, um, thicker piece of plastic more like a transparency and so they're great for building on top of and that's what I'm doing here in this one. Now other things that happened with this particular page I thought about about you know I thought a bit about adding other embellishments. I also have the map there and uh, two of the bracelets from um, this event that I was considering incorporating into this project uh, and you'll see how I end up incorporating one of the bracelets here in a couple minutes. First step though was using the red line tape to adhere my photo collage onto the back of the cardstock there. And then I am gonna take a tiny attacher to staple the tabs down in place. And then they, the tabs seem to work really well uh, for the flip up. So we'll see how well uh, those hold up over time. Some of that I'm not totally sure about. Um, I would really like, if you guys have other ideas for creating flip ups that isn't, uh, using washi tape. I would love some additional ideas on that too. I think this one ended up working really well. I think it looks cute. It kind of has that, you know, tabbed look along the top and staple it in place. I felt like that's just a, a good way to, to hold it down just a little bit more. Um, like I said, we'll see how that holds up over time. I thought, um, inside that rainbow on top of the the transparency there I thought of adding a few things like I looked at some of the other vellum circles that we have I also looked at some of my other embellishments and didn't didn't there weren't any that I really 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 wanted to add so one of the things that I looked at doing was adding on I cut up the bracelet and placed that in between the rainbow or you know right at the, the the bottom of the rainbow there and I actually ended up really liking how that looked and I felt like that was the perfect use of some ephemera from the trip that could become an embellishment right that the the things we pick up along our travels can be used as embellishments in our projects and so that's what I ended up doing here and that ends up actually being kind of the main embellishment that I add on. So this is a pretty simple page overall. I didn't use a ton of different things. I'm definitely using obviously the rainbow, the uh, plastic rainbow pieces from the rainbow scrapbook kit and you could always build this page on one of the pattern papers as well if that was something that you wanted to do. Redline tape is going to adhere that down onto the plastic and I was able to tuck it just under under the plastic pieces of the rainbow just a little bit there. Um, not you know I, I kind of cut it with my scissors just so that it could be placed right next to it, but it can also be tucked in. I really, I like, that makes me so happy looking at it right now. I really like how that, um, that ended up looking on there and it's great to be able to incorporate that uh, piece of the trip into there. The other thing that I ended up doing then was when I flipped that up, I saw that there was another spot for something else. And one of the canvas strips from the rainbow kit says blue skies ahead. And it was like the perfect size. It fit just perfectly as a backing for that, um, the Dave bracelet that I had on there. So that ended up looking really good. I didn't put anything else behind the rainbow. I thought that was fine, but that would be somewhere else where you could cut up pattern paper. You could do some other sort of thing, but I definitely wanted the see-through portion, um, happening on there. I did consider putting some uh, embellishments on top of my photo collage. I pulled out a few different things. I also considered doing a half circle chipboard embellishment. So I pulled out my organized chipboard box here and kind of went through some of those to see if there was anything that really I really, really wanted. And in the end, um, this is a good example of there's lots of times when I do this and then I don't end up adding anything on, right? Like sometimes I, I definitely want to add things and other times I'm like, you know what? It's good enough as it is. So especially I think with the all the other projects that I've done for this week, which are bright and bold and and you know using different pieces from the kit I think keeping this one pretty simple focusing on the the plastic rainbow on top of the graphics piece uh, worked really well if you want to learn more about my chipboard organization I've got a video for that that you guys can click on the link up above um, to learn more about why I did that and, and that that has actually really worked well um, for me all right you guys if you have any more questions let me know in the comments below